Nur Sultan Nazarbayev led Kazakhstan for three decades, and his decision to stand down is nothing short of historic in a region where leaders tend to be pushed out or die in office. I'm addressing you today, as I've always done in the most important moments in the history of our state, which we are building together. But my address today is special. I made an uneasy decision to step down as president of the Republic of Kazakhstan. Under Nazarbayev's stewardship, Kazakhstan's capital Astana became a modern metropolis. A country the size of Western Europe with a population of just 80 million, it has benefited from billions of dollars in oil revenues. But that prosperity has come at a price. While the political elite enriched itself, Nazarbayev's government was accused of stifling political dissent. Elections have never been free or fair, and Kazakhstan has no independent media. Yet Nazarbayev has a legacy he will be proud of. It's been my honor to welcome... He earned respect by dismantling the country's President nuclear Kazakhstan. weapons after the Soviet Union. He also kept a lid on Kazakh nationalism. The country has a large number of ethnic minorities, including Russians. The only president many Kazakhs have ever known, Nazarbayev enjoyed the nickname of Papa. Officially, he will remain leader of the nation, with immunity from prosecution and extensive powers as head of Kazakhstan's Security Council. The government has not given a reason for the 78-year-old's resignation, but the move should ensure an orderly transition of power to prove to Kazakhstan and the world that there can be business as usual without Nursultan Nazarbayev. Robin Forrestier-Walker, Al Jazeera.